be making basics. What's going on YouTube? It's Ever J Music, owner of Beat Making Basics, and we're back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notifications and make sure you leave a comment and like the video, okay? So with this particular video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make your 808 glide in Logic Pro. 10 okay it's a very simple way to do it we're going to be using the exs 24 sampler so let's jump into this uh, tutorial so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a software instrument track make sure you go under instrument and select exs 24 sampler stereo make sure that you have your output your audio output set to one and two or stereo whatever you know um, click on create and then what you're going to want to do is load some samples so or load an, uh, an 808 sample so you could just go over here to edit and now we're going to find a dope 808 to use i use splice.com splice.com is a real good resource as far as finding royalty free samples um, kits the whole nine you know what I mean so we're gonna go over here to splice real quick this is a desktop version of splice you pretty much once you get um, you know get in an account it's only costs about the cost of say like a value meal at your local food shop you know food or eatery or whatever but anyway which once, once you get your splice open um, type in 808 and then you can come over here to 808 right there and it's going to pull up all the 808s in their their you know in splice so what we're going to do is sample some let's just see so that's a good one it's a clean one i'm going to go ahead and um get that one and usually when I download my 808s or any sounds, I go ahead and just put them on my computer in a, you know, the same place. So I go to my main folder. I have like a little folder, drum kits and plugins, and I just put everything there. So I'm going to just create a new folder that just says 808. Come on. All right, there you go. All right, so we got them right there. Okay, it was somewhere. Anyway, once you get your sample, you're going to go ahead and drag him into your EXS24 sampler. Close that bad boy. Drag him in there. Make sure that you have pitch on so that it will pretty much play on each note and each octave. And I would recommend not using the one shot option. Okay, just click pitch, that's it. And then you're gonna go over here to instrument and go save as. And then you can name it any type of 808 you want. I'll just say 808 smooth, because it's a smooth sounding 808. And now anytime I wanna pull up this 808, it's ready to go. Now for the actual glide part, okay? Because like right now, There's no glide action at all. All right. So if you look and focus right here, so what you'll do is you'll come over here to your inspector. That's what I just did. Just in case it's not pulled up, you'll come to the middle where you see the EXS 24 sampler, click on it. And this guy is going to come up and then you're going to focus your attention right here. Okay. You can see glide right there. Um, you pretty much were going to want to, adjust it a certain way now i would say don't do a long glide i would do more of a short glide anywhere between the middle and here so probably right there and i'm, I'm gonna show you how it sounds now so we're gonna have to pull this up just a little bit more
So, you know, that's a simple way. This is super simple. So probably the simplest way to get a good glide going on your beats. You know what I mean? And so when you go to record it, you don't have to do a whole bunch of extra stuff to the beat to actually get it to glide. It's already ready to go. Now, if you really wanted to, you can actually come in here and save as here as well. And uh, we can name this like 808 glide. Boom. Now, I'm just going to create a brand new track. I'm going to delete this. Create a brand new track. We got instrument EXS 24 sampler. Your audio output is at one and two. Create. Now, if I want to bring up this sample that's in here and bring up the settings that I had, I'll go over here where it says factory default and scroll down to it says 808 glide. Boom. We got that sample plus we got the glide setting we like. And now we can come in here and get busy. So I'm just going to, you know, create something just to show you. That was whack, but I mean, you kind of get the idea of what what's going on on here. I'm just going to go over here, quantize it. You don't have to do anything special with the notes or anything, just go ahead, quantize it, and it's ready to go. You get, you get the point. Now, if we really wanted to cook up for real, let me just kind of, I'm just going to cook up a little quick beat just to, just so you can really get the vibe of what's, what's going on here. I'll, I'll come in and get like some, let me get a little trap hit, you know, trap, you know, trap vibe going. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, we'll go. Just to f further get the vibe of what, what's, what's going on here. Got the got our pattern. Pretty much just gonna double that. Getting a little extra, a little bonus in this in this uh tutorial, just so you can see. I don't wanna leave y'all with nothing whack. Alright, we're gonna do that. actually kind of cool so just just to, just to put it into perspective you know what i'm saying and i can keep on going on with this beat if i want it that bad boy real quick I mean of course we got to come in here and mix it and doctor it up and you know add more sounds and all that good stuff but you get the point man I'm showing you you know a dope easy way to you know get that glide sound in here all you got to do is use the EXS 24 sample 
uh, sampler and an 808 sound and you're good to go please make sure that you leave a comment man if you like this video and also make sure that you're subscribed man i'm coming with daily videos i appreciate y'all watching i'll see you in the next one peace